J.D. Vance is the gift that keeps on giving to the Democratic Party. Donald Trump's controversial VP pick makes the former president somehow look diplomatic as controversy after controversy comes back to bite him. The latest is an attack Vance made against Simone Biles following her withdrawal from the 2020 Tokyo Olympics. USA Gymnastics announced in a July 2021 statement on what was then Twitter, after further medical evaluation, Simone Biles has withdrawn from the final individual all-around competition at the Tokyo Olympic Games in order to focus on her mental health. The organization praised Biles for her bravery. The statement concluded, Her courage shows yet again why she is a role model to so many. Vance begged to differ, however, and thought it was a bit of a cop-out. He told Fox News following the announcement, I think it reflects pretty poorly on our sort of therapeutic society that we try to praise people not for moments of strength, not for moments of heroism, but for their weakest moments. Biles is widely considered to be the greatest gymnast of all time. Before even setting foot in Paris for the 2024 Games, she had already won 30 world championships and seven Olympic medals to her name. Since then, Biles broke records and made Olympic history by becoming the only U.S. gymnast to win six golds, which she then beat by winning a seventh, and something tells us she's not finished yet. Biles now also holds the record as the most decorated male or female in the sport, with an astounding 40 Olympic and world medal wins. J.D. Vance, on the other hand, has zero. Simone Biles' unbelievable performance at the 2024 Paris Olympics left sports fans speechless and J.D. Vance eating his words. Criticizing someone and calling them weak for prioritizing their mental health is never a good look for anyone, so it's little surprise Vance's abhorrent comments have come back to haunt him. And ex-warriors attacked, burning the wannabe VP to a crisp. One commenter asked, Hey JD, remember when you mocked Simone Biles for taking care of her mental health? Where is your gold medal? Oh, that's right, you don't have one. You're not even good enough to compete because you're a loser. Can you even count how many gold medals she won this year? Another charged, F you and your comments about young, amazingly talented Simone Biles for taking a mental health break. A, you would struggle with a somersault, and B, if it was a white male athlete, you'd say he was brave. F you, you disgusting excuse for a human being. A third wrote, Glad this turned out so well for Vance. Can't believe anyone would have voted for him. Meanwhile, Biles couldn't resist the temptation to troll Vance's boss over his controversial quote, black jobs comment at the National Association of Black Journalists convention on July 31st. She didn't mention Donald Trump by name, but then she didn't really need to. Biles posted on X alongside a black love heart, quote, I love my black job. J.D. Vance's past comments on Simone Biles went against the public grain. Following her withdrawal from the Tokyo Olympics, the gymnast was widely praised for becoming an unexpected mental health advocate, offering support and advice to others in need. Biles told Olympics.com in October 2021, For me, it was important to include the mental health aspect because I know a lot of people coming out to watch this show go through similar things, and to know that I'm not just brushing it aside or hiding it under the rug, that I'm bringing that talking and viewpoint to the forefront. I hope young women take away that it's okay to not be okay. You can speak up for what you believe, and you can do things alone. Meanwhile, the well of unearthed, embarrassing, and controversial Vance interviews, speeches, and comments is seemingly bottomless. His past attacks on Donald Trump, arguments about higher tax rates for childless couples, remarks about abortion, and cat lady slurs have made him a late-night punchline and campaign distraction. Still, Trump continues to stand by his man, at least for now. He told Fox News' Laura Ingram on July 30, 2024, He's got tremendous support, and he really does among a certain group of people, people who like families.